Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I have another map for you. This one is also a shotgun and close quarters kind of aim trainer. And personally I enjoy it a lot. I think this is probably one of my best ones I've made so far. Um, at least the edit slash aim course that I have. However, if you do not know how to enter in the code, all you're going to do is go to one of these featured riffs here. And you're just going to paste the code that is in the description. And after a minute, it will pop up for you. However, I'm going to quickly talk over the courses. They're all going to play after this. So if you do get confused on anything, make sure to watch the video because it will tell you how to kind of go through each of the courses. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the video. So this first course here is a shotgun slash aim edit course. And personally, it's my favorite one that I've made because I feel like it might just be like a little bit harder or maybe the edits are just more fun for me, I guess. But personally, I like this one a lot and there's a lot of new things that I've included. First thing you're going to see here is kind of like an ice track, which you've seen before. But this one, it, it kind of hides the uh, lamps before you get to them. So one thing I recommend is to turn your textures up a little bit in settings because the lamps will glow a little bit so you kind of can see them a little bit better. But overall this map is pretty fun and there is one part uh, towards kind of like halfway through the map that you do have to build. It's kind of like an open hallway. So I do recommend like either skipping to that or just watching up until then because that part is kind of like really fast paced and can be really good for practicing if you do it right. However, I am going to let the rest of this clip play out and I will see you in the next course.
So this course here is just a smaller, more compacted version of my AR tracking course with a lot more bouncers. And what's great about this one is it allows you to do your SMG tracking as well as some close range AR in as well. And as well as you can still use the minigun if you'd like to. However, one thing I saw somebody comment and it was pretty funny is the kind of like they modified the inside of the course and they also showed me a picture of them in a shopping cart. And I thought this was kind of cool. I didn't really think about it because you guys can all build inside of this box. So I say you guys should really take advantage of that so you can kind of set up like more custom shots and things. And it kind of makes this course a lot more cooler because you guys can kind of do what you'd like and practice different scenarios. So there are three extra rooms I did add in and each of them are just kind of something little I thought would be kind of cool to add. Uh, one thing I did find is that using an AR instead of a shotgun is kind of good as well because it allows you to have a much bigger clip and for the most part it made you be a little bit more precise. Um, you can use a shotgun if you'd like but I found it to be kind of a little bit easier since you don't have to reload so much. Alright, so that is going to be the end of the video there, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and I do hope you enjoy the map as well. I tried to mix it up a little bit this time, so hopefully it's fun, and hopefully it's kind of refreshing. Other than that, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They'll both be linked in the description. Other than that, have a good rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching.